Good girls. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Give me a big hug. So, I'm sure you could tell I'm whispering. I just got Penelope down for a nap and I'm gonna try something right now. I'm gonna ramble to you guys for 10 minutes. And first off, sometimes I realize I do that. Sometimes I think, like right now, I was about to say, okay, I'm kind of unsure how to go, what direction to take with this video. And so sometimes I think when I'm, oh, I don't know what to do, maybe sometimes and that that's kind of one thing i'm really i'm focusing on a lot right now i like i have a lot if you guys could come see my house i have notes everywhere i'm throwing notepads everywhere so that way when i write something down or not when i when i think of something i can just write it down because right now in my face and that that's one thing i'm learning too is that I've fallen into a mindset where I have a hard time being still. I have a hard time, um, I, am, I am having a hard time right now just doing certain things. And in the big picture, a mindset I was in that I feel like doesn't serve me personally is I've gotten very concrete, black and white, and which is okay, there's nothing wrong with that. That mindset sometimes is serving, but I guess what I'm, what's really happening is I've gotten so much into the black and white mindset that I think all or nothing, you know, anyways. I'm kind of going off on a tangent, but I'm I'm okay. Like I'm a, right now again. F oh, phases. That's what I was talking about. Is I'm learning to look at things not as a definite. You know, saying oh I'm I'm a mess right now or whatever. Even there, I'm I'm doing better. I said right now, whereas I used to say I'm a mess. You know, I'm always a mess. Always, never. I want to practice eliminating um, some terms that they have a purpose, you know, always, never, all the time has a purpose. But for me right now, I want to practice other things. So anyways, I'm in a cr crazy journey right now and I just, I've been torn, do I share this journey, you know? and. I don't know, for me, I, I love to share just for a couple reasons. I like to, one of my big things that Julia really likes is I love making people feel like they're in good company. I love making somebody feel like they're not alone, you know? And so I'm on a, a new journey right now and I'm, I'm enthusiastic about it. And even that right there, I, I'm enthusiastic about it. But for me, I also need to tell myself that I'm enthusiastic, but I'm also gonna have times where it's tiring. Yesterday, I woke up and I was just like, yes, and I, I, I was practicing so many things and changing, rewiring in my brain. That's probably a phrase. If you've been around my channel for a while, you've probably heard me say that phrase, uh, rewiring. But yeah, it takes a lot of work. And again, for Julia, I can get caught up in an all or nothing mindset so I think okay I gotta be positive and on my mindset 24 7 and anyways I kind of wanted to just share really quick um, kind of how I'm applying certain things with putting Penelope down so I keep looking at it and I'm gonna address it oh gosh my glasses are so I did not realize how dirty they were see like even that like sometimes looking at ourselves 
we can I can choose to say oh I look a hot mess I can choose to pick out the bad you know and that's okay sometimes like one thing I was gonna say is I wanted to point out my cold sore not because I'm self-conscious about it or at least right now I'm not self-conscious about it I'm not gonna lie sometimes when I think about it I'm like oh, like what it, you know again sometimes you're self-conscious because of the fear of what other people are gonna think you know like and again it's fear and it's, anyways I'm learning to become to a place where it's like okay I want to point this out to you guys because I'm sure there's somebody watching this who gets cold sores too and when I first started getting them I was really self-conscious about it I think I think I started getting them anyways I can go off on a story and tell you guys about that see and I'm learning to just okay like what's necessary what's for me at least you know and again what's necessary for me is can be so different from what's necessary to you you know so anyways that's what that is if you have cold sores you're in good company as a part of life everybody has things about them some and you know I have a little acne going on too and again I'm not pointing it out because I'm actually not self-conscious about it right now I'm pointing it out so that way if you're watching this and you have some things going on maybe it'll help you feel better about them knowing like hey that girl I watch that this youtuber I watch has it too and oh well you know so anyways I want to keep this video around 10 minutes um, and basically I wanted to come on here and tell you guys about putting Penelope down and I don't know I don't I kind of don't know if I'm going to be able to get that story out this the way I want to tell it in three minutes so I think instead hmm see I'm torn right now do I try to challenge myself and say okay Julia yeah let's do that I'll challenge myself and but I also want to tell you guys like a part of me is like oh I need to explain what this is and that's part of my learning process is sometimes for me personally I'm in a mindset where I want to explain every little thing in detail which is great like my intentions are good but is it really serving to me you know all the time sometimes it's gonna be serving to me sometimes it's not so anyways I'll just share again let, let me look at it as sharing not really I'll just share gosh it's like 8 minutes and 15 seconds right now anyways I put Penelope down for bed it took a little while she I'm almost 80% positive that she's really teething and it's been she has been for a little while she oh she goes like this to her ears which you know again my brain says oh people are gonna comment oh she probably has an earache or she has this or she has that which is fine like I think people comment again a lot of people most people's intentions are great but uh, I don't want to get into that anyways see look I'm like oh I'm looking at the time but I'll give you guys a long story short <laughs> and even this I think that's what the purpose of this video is going to be the purpose of this video is not going to be to share my experience putting her down that was the outline I had but I didn't stick to it and that's okay and maybe if you're still watching this maybe you got a sign otherwise like I thought the purpose of this video was to tell you guys about Penelope my my experience right now putting her down for bed but and maybe this video might have been for some people like more organized and more pleasing but I 
I'm not gonna please everybody. And I can do one thing and people are gonna love it while other people hate it. And then if I please these people, these people might hate it, some might not. Either way, I guess the end of my message, it's 10 minutes and 21 seconds. So let me get to the end of my message. If you're watching this and you are on a journey like me, and maybe today you needed to hear that, do whatever is best for you, even if it's uncomfortable, even if you're in a habit of being uncomfortable doing things for you, practice, you know, and you're not gonna get it right. It's about the intentions and you are actually wanting to change something. So anyways, I hope you're having a good day today and I'll catch you in my next ratchet ramble. <laughs>